Lesson 195 in A Course in Miracles Love is the way I walk in gratitude Gratitude is a lesson hard to learn for those who look upon the world amiss. The most that they can do is see themselves as better off than others, and then try to be content because another seems to suffer more than they. How pitiful and deprecating are such thoughts. For who has cause for thanks while others have less cause? And who could suffer less because he sees another suffer more? Your gratitude is due to him alone who made all cause of sorrow disappear throughout the world. Nor could the even partly sane refuse to take the steps which he directs and follow in the way he sets before them to escape a prison which they thought contained no door to the deliverance they now perceive. Your brother is your enemy because you see in him the rival for your peace, a plunderer who takes his joy from you and leaves you nothing but a black despair so bitter and relentless that there is no hope remaining. Now is vengeance all there is to wish for. Now can you but try to bring him down to lie in death with you, as useless as yourself, little left within his grasping fingers as in yours. You do not offer God your gratitude because your brother is more slave than you, nor could you sanely be enraged if he seems freer. Love makes no comparisons, and gratitude can only be sincere if it is joined to love. We offer thanks to God our Father that in us all things will find their freedom. It will never be that some are loosed while others still are bound. For who can bargain in the name of love? Therefore give thanks, but in sincerity, and let your gratitude make room for all who will escape with you, the sick, the weak, the needy and afraid, and those who mourn a seeming loss or feel apparent pain, who suffer cold or hunger, or who walk the way of hatred and the path of death. All these go with you, let us not compare ourselves with them, for thus we split them off in our awareness from the unity we share with them, as they must share with us. We thank our Father for one thing alone, that we are separate from no living thing, and therefore one with Him, and we rejoice that no exceptions ever can be made which would reduce our wholeness, nor impair or change our function to complete the one who is himself completion. We give thanks for every living thing, for otherwise we offer thanks for nothing, and we fail to recognize the gifts of God to us. Then let our brothers lean their tired heads against our shoulders as they rest a while. We offer thanks for them, for if we can direct them to the peace that we would find, the way is opening at last to us. An ancient door is swinging free again. A long-forgotten word re-echoes in our memory and gathers clarity as we are willing once again to hear. Walk then in gratitude, the way of love, for hatred is forgotten when we lay comparisons aside. What more remain as obstacles to peace? The fear of God is now undone at last and we forgive without comparing. Thus we cannot choose to overlook some things and yet retain some other things still locked away as sins. When your forgiveness is complete, you will have total gratitude, for you will see that everything has earned the right to love by being loving, even as yourself. Today we learn to think of gratitude in place of anger, malice and revenge. We have been given everything. If we refuse to recognize it, we are not entitled therefore to our bitterness and to a self-perception which sees us as in a place of merciless pursuit where we are badgered ceaselessly and pushed about without a thought or care for us or for our future. Gratitude becomes a single thought we substitute for these insane perceptions God has cared for us and called us Son. 
Can there be more than this? Our gratitude will pave the way to him and shorten our learning time by more than we can ever dream of. Gratitude goes hand in hand with love, and where one is, the other must be found. For gratitude is but an aspect of the love which is the source of all creation. God gives thanks to you, his Son, for being what you are, his own completion, and the source of love along with him. Your gratitude to him is one with his to you. For love can walk no road except the way of gratitude, and thus we go who walk the way to God. Close your eyes upon the world. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. Gratitude, real gratitude, is being grateful for who you are and who everyone else is. And your gratitude is due to the Holy Spirit, to God, reminding you that sorrow and death and loss and lack is impossible. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. Real gratitude is being grateful for a state, for your being, where all pain is healed and suffering has been replaced with laughter and with happiness. This is the key to your deliverance. This is your escape from prison door to heaven. Be grateful now, there is one who has come to release you from all bondage, to release everyone from all bondage. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. You would no longer be tied to despair, hopelessness, 
vengeance or fear at all. Your release has been given you. Be grateful now. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. We are being asked to use gratitude, not because our brother has less and that we have something that someone else doesn't. We are grateful now that everyone is released with us, equally, a shared experience. We would accept that now, all is free or none is free. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. Through you, all will find their release. Through you, love is expressed, given and received equally to everyone. Feel the gratitude now. Make room for it. You release yourself from sickness, weakness and everyone else, the needy and afraid and those who mourn a seeming loss or apparent pain who suffer cold or hunger or walk the way of hatred and and the path of death everyone goes with you you would no longer compare yourself and split yourself off from the unity you share with everyone. 
Love is the way I walk in gratitude with everyone. There is no exceptions to this love. We give thanks and rejoice. Nothing can change our function. Nothing can change what we are. We give thanks for every living thing. For otherwise we offer thanks for nothing. And we fail to recognize the gifts of God to us. We find the peace now of God and we offer it to everyone through us. An ancient door is swinging free again. A long forgotten word re-echoes in our memory and gathers clarity as we are willing once again to hear. Walk then in gratitude the way of love for hatred is forgotten when we lay aside comparisons. No more obstacles to peace, fear is now undone, and we forgive without comparing, overlooking everything. When your forgiveness is complete, you will have total gratitude, for you will see that everything has the right to love by being loving, even as your true self. Love is the way I walk in gratitude now.
Today, we learn to think of gratitude in place of anger, malice and revenge. We have been given everything. Would you rather hold on to bitterness, hate, fear and everything that comes with it? The merciless pursuit of nothing. Gratitude becomes the single thought we substitute for these insane perceptions. God has cared for us and called us son. Can we be more than this? Can we be more than eternal, free, limitless, incapable of loss, lack, fear? Love is the way I walk in gratitude. Gratitude, being an aspect of love, is myself, is my source, it's my true state. Your gratitude to him is one with his to you. You join in this state with God. For love can walk no road except the way of gratitude, and thus we go who walk the way to God. Imagine yourself now walking to God in gratitude. You have been given everything, you lack nothing. There are no real cares, no real worries, no doubts, nothing to fear. Love is the way we walk in gratitude. 